Okay, good morning. How's everybody doing? So I decided to do another talk through. A um, couple of people said that they like to talk through. Some people said, you know, we do it all the way. I'm going to do another one. I'm try not to make this one as long as the other one. So, yeah. So today I'm kind of doing a shot my stash slash trying out new products. Um, definitely we're going to be playing with the new Charlotte Tilbury uh, airbrush bronzer. I did a video on this, just posted it a couple days ago. Um, and we're also going to be using these products. Now, this is the Huda Beauty Nude Rich, um, uh, the Huda Beauty Rich Nude Obsession, sorry, eyeshadow palette. Now, I didn't, I've never personally used this, but I did use this for my niece's Sweet 16. I did her makeup, and this is the palette I used. I didn't, this is the only palette I used. Um, these are the colors. I'm sure you guys have seen it. But I was actually going to give her the palette, and I decided to keep it for myself. So, I'm finally going to get around to using this, and then I'm going to try to somehow incorporate the matte and metals melted eyeshadow. This is the only one that I have. I just purchased this during the VIB sale. So yeah, we're going to use that. And then I have some old products that I pulled out that I'm gonna give a try. So if you are very interested in seeing what we're gonna be doing today, then keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to Prime my lips. This is the Light Beauty Gave Lip Mask. I use this all the time, even when I'm not wearing anything on my lips. I use this all the time. All the time. Yeah. This is, first off, my lips are very chap. Like, I put stuff on at night, but, you know, my lips get chat. So, I like to put this on in the morning to help get my lips together, especially if I'm going to do makeup and put, like, a matte lipstick on. Today, we're not doing that, but either way, still, I thought it'd be appropriate to um, put that on there. Okay, so today I'm trying out a new eyeshadow primer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Everybody has been raving about this. Um, let me see if I should shake this up first. I just bought this in the VIB sale um, this past April. So, and it's, it's, this is very liquidy. It's very liquidy. So, but we're going to give it a shot. And I'm going to take my Morphe 705. I like to use this brush for um, applying eyeshadow base. Ooh. Oh, okay. This is liquidy and it dries down. It's like I should have to work with it really fast. Okay, so we're going to start with the nude, the rich nude obsessions. I want to say the word nude first, but it's the rich nude obsessions. I'm going to take my Sonia G Jumbo Blender. Love this brush. And I'm going to actually take the shade right here in the middle. I'm going to use that as our transition shade. All 
Okay, so I'm going to actually use, this is a Tarte brush. This is um, from one of the little brush sets, but I actually like these. I'm going to actually take this dark color right here. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. I'm going to take this color right here. And we're just going to put it like here. Okay, so next we're going to take the dark color and I'm going to go back with my jumbo blending brush and I'm just going to put, put it on the end. Okay, so this is what we got so far. So now I'm going to take this uh, matte and metal melted shadow. I'm going to take the silk bomber side. Now, I heard these dry down very matte. So I'm very, very weary about these kind of applicators to just like apply them all over. So I'm going to take a brush so I can have a little bit more control. This is the Morphe M421. This is like a mini concealer brush. I love this brush. So I'm going to just take it and I'm going to put it all over my lid. Like so. And I'm putting it. This is nice. This thing dries down really fast. Wow. Whoa. Wow, that thing dries down really fast. Look at that. I like these. So I'm gonna go back with the, uh, we're gonna go back into the Nude Obsessions, the Rich Nude Obsessions. And I'm gonna go back with this color here, I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to kind of blend everything together, so to speak. Now we're not done, but I just want to kind of give it a little. Oh, this is pretty though. This is pretty just like it is, but we not finished. We not finished. We are not finished at all and I feel as though I need a little bit more of the deep color here so I'm gonna take this side now do I have another yeah, I'll take, I'll use this brush. This is an Urban Decay um, medium shadow brush. I'm going to take the metal side, I guess, and bubble gum. Now, I, I don't, because this is so matte, 
I'm not gonna put um all up in the camera, sorry. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. I don't know what the other one is, and I just dropped it. So that's okay. So I'm gonna take this prep and prime. I bought this because it's the watermelon set. Oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna take my watermelon. Ugh. <laughs> watermelon. This is the watermelon? What's this called? This is the watermelon prep and prime. Fix Plus. I don't know what I did with my other one, but I'm just gonna kind of spray the brush just a little bit. Um, just to give the top of this a little wetness because I don't know how this is going to um, go on okay a little bit of that whoa oh my gosh how pretty is this okay and you only need a little bit you only need a little bit when I tell y'all I'm about to scream that is so pretty <sighs> God. Ooh. <laughs> you can use your finger, but honestly, for when you have applicators like this, I feel when you use a brush, you have a little bit more control. I mean, either use the applicator or your finger. I mean, you know, I use my finger quite often. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Oh my God, this is so pretty. But um, in this instant, because you know, I'm new, you know, my first time using this product and plus you know I want this look to be fire so I don't want to mess it up oh wow this is so nice this is so oh my god this is so nice Okay, so I think I put a little too much over on this side, but nonetheless, I mean, it's okay. It's going to have to be okay, but I love how this came out. I didn't put any more product on the brush. I'm just trying to kind of get this done dry down now, but oh my God, this thing is so nice. Okay, so I kind of had to try and fix it up, so I'm just going to go in again with this color here and just kind of I'm actually going to go on top too and blend kind of blend for your life y'all blend for your life Okay, guys, so I'm back. I had to kind of go off camera. Um, I had to redo this eye. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think because I took the Fix Plus and wet, I guess you didn't have to wet it when you use this. Eye. It's all trial and error, right? But this is what I came up with. I love it. I do like these. So I'm going to venture maybe into another one. I'm going to look and see. Um, 
what other shades they have in these these are very nice and you know these are good for travel and I love that I was able to pair it with this because I used um, three of the mattes for all my transitions and my outer corner as you saw I didn't use any of the shimmers in this look and I also use this shade for my brow bone highlights so this definitely gets a thumbs up for me um, so now I'm going to actually stop talking and I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I'm not going to be talking so I'm going to kind of speed the rest of the video up because you guys know it is 11 o'clock or after 11 o'clock and church service is streaming so I want to be able to uh, enjoy that part. Um, especially with everything that's going on right now I need to hear a word. So keep watching. I'm going to finish the rest of my face. And I'm going to put a little music on for you or whatever. You guys can finish and then we'll come back and chat at the end of the video. Okay?
so this is the finished look i hope you love it i really am loving how this came out i am like looking in the mirror feeling myself this is so pretty um now i just wanted to reiterate again and i know i said it before i broke off and you know i just finished the rest of my face with me not talking but i like i said i had to actually do this whole eye over because what I did was I, after I applied the matte side of this, the Huda Beauty, the matte side, I took a little bit of Fix Plus to put it on the shadow, then to put the metal side on there, and I shouldn't have did it. And then I kept blending over it, and then everything started to flake off. So I was like, okay, we have to start over. So I had to that's why I shut the camera off and I pretty much did my whole eye over and I finished my eyes um, and then when I came back I was trying to tune in for church service which having a lot of technical issues today um, so I finished my face now I know you guys saw I pulled out my vanish seamless finish foundation from hourglass I love this foundation I do need to get another color because this color is very, very golden. Um, as you probably saw as I was uh, applying it and as you probably could tell now. Um, it was hard to kind of match myself with this. Um, I'm not going to get rid of this shade, but I'm going to see if I can get another shade. Maybe I can mix the two. But I do love this foundation and I haven't used it in a while, so I picked this up. And I did mix it with my NARS Tinted Glow Booster, this thing right here. I should have gotten two of these. I really should have gotten two of these. Um, I love it. Like, I love it. Um, I did use for my primers um, the Smashbox Oil and Shine Control and the NARS Pour and Shine Control. This is very mattifying. This is like a satin finish, so I needed a little bit of both to help keep the nice, luminous, seamless finish, the whatever the hourglass foundation gives you. I need, I didn't want it to be too matte, but me being oily, I needed, I need that good grip so it will last most of the day. It's 12:11 now, so I want it to at least last till about eight o'clock, nine o'clock when I take it off. So that's why I mix those two primers together. I use my Studio Fix Concealer from MAC. This is one of the best concealers ever next to the Pro Longwear. And I also use the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. You guys saw that. And then I had to kind of mix in my cover effects a little bit on my face for some of the problematic spots. Um, to set my foundation, and to kind of tone down the goldenness of the foundation. It wasn't so much yellow. It was very gold. Um, because it's called Golden Almond, of course. Um, I use my Becca. And I you know I keep saying um so much. I'm sorry. They, they tell you about that in public speaking. <laughs> so I use the Multitasking Perfecting Powder. This powder. And this is in dark golden. However, even though... This foundation says golden almond, but you could you could see all the golden in it. The golden, all the gold in it. The dark golden, it's oh god, you guys see the mirror. It tones it down. And that's why I like this powder. This powder and Becca ought to be a shade in themselves for discontinuing it. Um I was fortunate enough. I got an email a while back. Um you know how the brands they do oh say say your goodbyes or however they title it and this came up and I was like are you kidding me so I went on their website and most of the products that they're getting rid of were 40% off so I ordered like three more of these because I'm like I cannot you cannot do this to me I think it was three or two that I ordered but this powder is so good so I had to get more of these and honestly, I, I just love sometimes when my foundation doesn't match good. This powder is great and it helps tone 
tone down or like if it's too red or if it's too golden too yellow like that powder just tones everything down and that's why I love it so much so yeah then I proceeded well before I had set my face I did go ahead and use the cream bronzer from um, Fenty now I again I think I said it uh, if you follow me on Instagram when I bought it this is too deep for me as a bronzer but I did use it as a contour which is beautiful um, and it blends out so good I mean I love cream products and cream products are really good for the summer so I use it as a contour and then I tried the new and you know I've got um, fingerprints all over you could see through there but I got the new Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer this is a little dark I mean and this is the darkest this is deep and it's ooh, sorry and it is very red but you have to blend it out and then on top of the cream bronzer from Fenty I think it did a very good job um, but you have to when I tell you now I when I initially put it on my face it was like so I had to cut that clip out you have to go in very very light-handed with this bronzer like just <laughs> the smallest amount is needed because when I initially put it on my forehead oh my god I was like no so then I took my this is my favorite one of my favorite powder brushes this is Morphe E1 and I had to blend it down and mind you I did it before I even put my cream bronzer on which made things worse so that's why you edit cut stuff embarrassing stuff like that out but you only need like to lightly you swish it in and then just tap it because I don't know if you saw when I was putting it on my cheeks on top of that cream bronzer how it this is a it's an expensive product but I think this is worth it and I am so glad to have it in my collection even though you know it is pricey but this is probably going to be one of my favorite bronzers next to Mocha Mommy, next to those Mars bronzers. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. And I use my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Chic, Cheek to Chic Intense. This is the intense one. Oh my God. I love, oh, I can't even open it. I love this. I <laughs> made a mess. I love this blush so if this is what it's gonna look like on me with the intense I'm scared to even think of what it's gonna look like when I use the regular pillow talk and I haven't even used that yet and I've had that blush since not the VIB sale that we had in April but the one prior to that I never use it so this one though definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this this is beautiful and I pull out an oldie but goodie. Um, this is a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I don't know where you're of my MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. This is in Lust. I think this is from one of the old collections. And it's so pretty. Look at how pretty it is. Like, look how pretty that is. Ugh. I'm telling y'all, MAC makes... If they never make another highlight and MAC keeps making highlights, it's okay with me. I love... I love MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finishes, the highlighters. Oh, love them. Now, let's talk about the lips. After I tell you I set my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, but let's talk about the lips. This lip combo has me feeling some type of way right now. And I'm looking over here because I'm just feeling myself. This look came out so, so nice. Um... Okay, I'm back. So I dropped my lip pencil. This is Vino by MAC. One of my favorites. I didn't want the lip liner to be too harsh because, you know, normally I would have pulled out Night Moth in a, in a minute. But didn't want this to be too harsh, so I used Vino. Love Vino. Love Vino. Nice and purpley. But it's not as intense as Night Moth. And then I went in first 
with the dose of colors lip gloss and that's cool <laughs> yo i love those colors lip glosses they smell like ice cream they like smell like ice oh jesus this is oh my god but this one has a nice mauvey undertone and then of course i had to put max oyster girl on top of it yeah this is the last of the original packaging ones this one is still good that's why i still have it and i got my backup ready to go but this here for this lip this is so pretty so pretty so pretty so pretty and again these this is not disappointing um i'm gonna i'm gonna pick this palette up again i know it because i seem to be so attracted to these Huda Beauty, these small palettes. I love when she comes out with small palettes. I'm just waiting her to come out on more palettes that wow me because the ones that she came out, the neon ones, really didn't feel those. And then she came out with some other ones, you know, but this was the one, this one. And the next time I do use this palette, I'm definitely going to use a shimmer on my eyes. But I wanted to use this in conjunction with this because I wanted to test this out. Because, like I said, I already used this when I did my niece's makeup. And she's darker than me. So, you know, it came out very pretty on her skin. So, I wanted to see how it came out on mine. Not that it wouldn't be pretty, but you know what I mean. And these matte and metal shadows, matte and metal melted shadows. I gotta go look into getting maybe another one seeing um what else they have because i just bought this one to test it out and i am not disappointed for the beauty shadows are great and now i know that having these and mixing them with these are great like this is perfect perfect together all right i'm gonna stop talking because i've been talking too much but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know uh, what looks you want to see next what products you want me to use if I have them I'll use them and not necessarily to say if I don't have them I'll go out and buy them because you know I'm not that type of blogger I don't just buy it because it come out it has to be something I really like um okay forgot to mention my setting spray guys if you're oily you need this that's all I'm gonna say okay and with that, I'm going to bid you farewell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.